everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode Steve Cards. And as you can see on to my right hand side, well actually my left hand side, you can see a cart assembler. So let's get started. I want to build a cart first. Now this is a cart I want to build, but I'm missing one thermal engine requires one tank. So let's quickly make a tank. So I've got some storage side chests here and I've got a solar panel and a thermal engine. So and the thermal engine, what that's going to do is give me power when we're actually drilling. And I don't want to use the coal engine because the coal engine makes a lot of pollution. Strangely enough, I don't think the thermal one does. So to make a tank, we probably want just a straight... I think the only one we can use probably is an internal tank, which will be this one here. So we need to get some of these ready, which we can do easily enough. So that should be all we need for this. Now I've got a, a valve already, a tank valve. The recipe for that, fairly straightforward. Um, so we can make one of these, internal tank. So we can put that into here. I guess that the internal tank doesn't hold very much fluid anyway, like that. The other thing I'm going to have to build is a couple of more bits and pieces actually. We're going to have to build another one of these cargo managers. So let's have a look at doing that first of all. That's this one. Got all the bits ready. These are just large iron planes, panes, which have which are actually very cheap. They're not strangely enough for this mod, these are cheap because Steve Cuts is very expensive on diamonds. I have to be honest, I've used up my 32 diamonds already. So then we're going to cargo manage it, and we're also going to need a couple of these rails, activator rails like this. What am I missing? Two stone things. Let's just shift click those into there. I only want two. I should go back again, which they did, and let me just make some of these advanced detector rails. I want some levers which I've probably got already in my building backpack like that. I've got 31, we need two of those. So I think that's everything we need. So let's get this thing built. Let's put the tank into it. Where's it gone to? Oh, I'll put it in already. All right, click assemble. Now, if you see on my cart, we'll start that going because it's going to take a few minutes to do it run. You'll see here we've got Steve Cards. I've got a modifier upgrade here, cart modifier. Here I've got a power crystal upgrade, and here I've got a solar panel. So this is what this is going to do is actually going to use up the fuel in here. The fuel's free because it's coming from either the solar panel or the power crystal cable, and this one's going to take 25 minutes. So the reason for all of this is I would like to build a. Um, that is daytime, isn't it? Yeah, thunderstorm. As you can hear, this is just probably got hit by lightning, so it's going over there. I did this thing. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just get into flight mode and just do some flying. And I'm going to turn on F9 so we can see what I'm going to do. F9. Like that. And you'll see here I've been doing some testing. So here's a place which looks like a good place to do some testing. And if you remember from my earlier episode I basically got to go from north which is in which direction is north is uh, this direction over here so I've got to put this on the north west side here I've got to put down a drone and then two blocks away from that I'm going to put down a storage of some form of storage I'm actually use absorption hoppers because they're, the, they're by far the best for this and I'm going to put into that some a pick some dirt HV capacitor and a core sample drill I'm just going to put the drone down here like this. What I did is I made a slight change to this program here. It's actually going to see if it can write that. And it's going to drill and put down some core samples. As you can see, it takes about it does it automatically, and it uses the iron pick for breaking the items. Otherwise, it disappear. So then it'll put down the samples. So let's go behind this, and we can see what it's doing for samples. So it takes about round about forty seconds or so to do the well, maybe a bit longer to do the to do the whole of this. And I've had to add an extra up dispenser um, upgrade in that because that gives you an extra slot. I need four slots because I've also modified the program slightly so that it'll go. Uh, it'll fill in underground like this. And in a few seconds, we're going to go back and have a look at the previous one where I did this. I've been doing been quite busy doing this. I found some unusual stuff as well that I don't expect to find. Um, platinum I found a couple of times. 
uh, and some other ores which I've never, which I don't think we have any use for in this pack. So I'm actually surprised we see plotting in money. So there we are. So there we are. So it's four samples like that. And then it just basically dies and it gets absorbed by the hopper, so we don't lose it again. And of course, it's going to tell me here on the, as you can see, on the on the chat tab where it actually got died from so that they always know where it's died so you can always go and pick it up again so it's you can see what it's done it's clicked a few bits and pieces so let's just pick up these and then break the um i want to have this one and then i want to break the hopper oops turns that off again so let's go back to the previous one which was just um over which direction got remember now back to base anyway so this way one of the reasons I was doing was doing all of this is to actually look for this ore, and sure enough, I found it. A kimberlite vein. So we've got thirty-eight thousand ore diamond ores down there. So we might as well like dig them up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drip, build a railway across from over here. So where I'm going to start it, so we can actually get an excavator and it'll automatically feed the diamonds back to the crusher. That's the intention. So now we've got to go and see that car's not going to be ready yet. Turn it off. Let's go back again. It'll take a few minutes for this car to be ready. I can turn this off now. I don't need the F9 anymore, so we'll turn the turn those markers off. So in the previous episode, I actually covered this stuff in here. Uh, I put down. I had down a, a train going around here with solar panels, and at night time I didn't want it to travel. And certainly, if a tree grew at night time, it would go underneath the tree, and it wouldn't be able to work. So what I've done is just put a a, a night a daytime daylight sensor, which is clicked right, which then gives it only a signal when it's night time. So it then, as soon as it starts to become daytime, it then turns this signal on here so off so it goes on here which allows the train to run because that's right beside this detector rail or advanced detector rail that was one thing i was, I was covering actually i have made an episode about this and i've decided not to publish it so here for instance we have this external distributor here and underneath this we've got a cargo manager and i was actually demonstrating how to this cargo manager works but maybe we'll cover that this episode so we don't actually need the things in this, but what I'm going to do now is I want to remove the stuff that I've got with me I don't need. I know where I'm going to put this. I'm going to put this in the, the chest with the immersive engineering stuff in it. So we don't need the absorption of these. I'll leave the drone in here too. And if there was something else I need to put back into here. Maybe the hammer here and oh the pick of course. get rid of that stuff I don't need the dirty though in fact I will take a stack of dirt and put it in there just just to remind me that I need it when I do do this business so now I'm going to wait until this is finished I think yes we've, we've basically got another 20 minutes so I'll wait I'll come back in about 20 minutes before I do that actually let's have a look at one more thing that I've found that I found to be I haven't found this before I knew there must be somewhere this has got it, but here we are, a cleaning machine. Now the cleaning machine, unfortunately, the, this, the unfortunate with Steve Cuts, there's not that much documentation about it from what I can see. Anyway, what this thing does is it picks up um, items enough, I think it's a five by five area around the cart. So what I've done is I've built one of these into a, into a wooden cart with a solar panel on and sent that over to the, um, Replace the cart that I had on in the um, in the ocean base for one of these, so that it'll pick up any drops which have come through here. I've also removed um, vibrant journeys because vibrant journeys were stopping preventing um, squids to spawn and other animals. Actually, it's still pre preventing squids to spawn. So I thought well, the easiest thing to do is just to get rid of it. And as you can see here's that drone's chopping down that tree again so that was working fine anyway i'll come back in a few minutes when this is all finished well there's about eight minutes left let's do something else while we're waiting for that to go what i thought about doing is to set up the initial part of the track for the for the railway because we're going to start building from this place over here 
Oh, if I can get to it, <laughs> I could fly. Fly see, flying's definitely quicker. So, so what we need to do is I'd like to put down a cargo manager, and I think this is the place I want to be. I think I would like to be at point eighty-two. So let's just put down the first track down here like this. Um, I'm not sure if I want to be down one. Yeah, we'll go down one like this. Let's remove this wall. That just sort just a marker for me. So let's put down the this and then we'll put down a rail in front of it so to do that i was going to put down a piece of wood in front of that like that and then oops wrong one didn't want to do that now these are actually quite hard to break so there's a trick with these i'll show you what i'm talking about if you're trying to break this it takes quite a lot of breaking if you just swap it over with another one like this then you can break that one without thinking about it so what i wanted to do is that and then put down this if i just also did tell it in terms of position and i want to put the cargo manager beside this like this and what's going to happen is when you put the cargo manager down here we're going to put some stuff into the cargo manager we don't need the wood and we don't need the rails we could put those in actually we do need the wood and the rails so the wood's going to be there to act for building and the rails are going to be there to act for um to put down the rails so we're going to be i've got the bridge builder so we're going to use wood for the bridge builder and rails for that so i don't think there's anything else i need in there i'm just having a think about it so what we then do is then the cart will come down and it will actually run onto this track and it'll automatically start to go back and fill in this this track here so we put it down here and it'll go through that one in fact what we could do is just put down one piece of rail out of here like this like that what time is it it's right at sunset I shall be back in a few seconds. Well, my fuel ran out just before it finished, about 38 seconds, so I'll put in a piece of charcoal in here, and that should give it enough fuel to finish this fairly quickly, I think. Hopefully one piece will do. So 18 seconds, we should have our cart. I think it's 18 seconds. Yeah, well, if not, we'll just have to wait a little bit longer, and I won't we'll put another piece of charcoal in there. And it should there we go now it's finished so let's go and take this car and go and put this over there it's actually night time so we'll have a quick sleep <laughs> but it's nearly it's nearly daytime so let's go fly because there are mobs about i probably should put some protection around here for mobs actually huh got me <laughs> on his death on his death row all uh, right so here we are just have a check around if there are no creepers around there's a zombie there anybody else around here somebody else around? oh creeper <laughs> well that was a good check wasn't it actually there's quite a few mobs around here for some reason or other a little creeper over there, look at that. and a skeleton hiding over there we'll just have to sort these people out before we i'll say people <laughs> Uh, no, they're not. Right, get rid of those guys. Anybody else around? There's one over there somewhere. We should be okay. So what we do is we put the cart down like this. Right, click it in place. And it should just uh, open up in here. It'll need some lava in there, of course. Well, let's put some lava in the tank. So let's get that going as well. See, the tank is empty, and this is going to have a um, high priority. I'm going to make this low priority by right-clicking it. And then I'm going to put a bucket of lava into, where does it go? Internal tank here. Like that. So we've got one bucket of lava in there. And that's what it's probably going to need. But you see it's already gone off and it's starting to chop down some trees down here. And then it goes, gets dark, so it's then going to use, start to use the thermal engine. So let's have a look at this. If I can get near it, we can have a look at the thermal engine here. So now that's going down a little bit. As soon as it comes back into daylight, which it is, it'll start to get some daylight. And of course, this is then going to go along here, and it's, this is actually powered up its maximum. I, I don't know if I can do better than this, and you can see the tracks going down here fairly quickly. So now it goes into this, and it's going to start making a hole. And when it's finished, it's, if it runs out of anything, it's going to come back here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make some more track while that's happening. Which actually won't take very long. <laughs> now the tree's grown. It's not being 
knock it down yet because I didn't put any speed upgrades in there yet. So track. Now the easiest track is our, our iron track and it's cheap. So, so we need some sticks. Like that. And some iron ingots for another. I think it's another we've got. We have no shortage of iron really. So let's put some and iron ingots around like this. In fact I click it in there. That will give another 32 tracks. Let's get another one, a set of those, and that'll be 64. That should be enough to go all the way through. So let's go back and have a look at where it is. In fact, what I'd like to do is, I think I've got in here some, one of these chests, I think I've got some, yep, jack o' lanterns, because we're going to have to put some jack o' lanterns down to prevent mobs spawning in the in the tunnel, if, if nothing, if nowhere else. And you see, the pollution has been damaging quite a few of these trees over time so let's just go down here and it's actually making a three by three tunnel as you can see so let's press f7 and see where the dark bits are so if i come down here and say put one of the lanterns down here like this it'll light up so that's carrying on running if it does have to come back again it'll carry on. it'll need some fuel I think it needs to go about five blocks. Was this is the range of one of these? So let's put do the next one. No, too too few. I think it have to go back. That's two, so we need to go back two blocks here. That'll, that'll do this one. I just need a piece of stone. I've got cobblestone. It's will be put into the um, mining, the digging backpack. So let's just go into here and get get that out of there. Let that carry on digging, and let's just come in here and put this extra track in here because I forgot to put that in there. Like that, we should, should. And first of all, it'll come back and it'll drink, till that, drink that, till that. <laughs> can't speak. We'll um, we'll collect that from there. So in here, I should have some stone. I've got some stone in here anyway. Let's fill this in with stone. So I said five. I think maybe one, two. Four. We'll try it with four this time. See if that's got enough range. And I have put away my jack o' lanterns. No, it is actually three. Okay, so let's just replace that again. Now it's actually come to where my I have a tunnel here. And this tunnel is for the um, to get into the the mob spawning area over there. So I don't need to worry about that for the time being. Just count how many spaces I got in between here. One. So it's the ninth space. So I'll have to count nine. Okay, that'll be here. In fact, as you can see it then starts to come out into daytime uh, so what we should have a look at in here see how much how much track it's got in 11 pieces and it's used to have used less than half a bucket of lava to do this stuff of course it's got to travel under this tree as well um, and this tree's quite big so I'm hoping yeah that's right it's about right I've got the right sort of position here I wanted to go just to the right of the um, of the portal which I've redecorated a little bit with some more dragon heads. <laughs> so it should come over here, and I'm hoping it'll just come to the right of this. These two water wheels here, which is what I was planning it to do. And then we, I would like it to stop around about here. So we can drop the stuff into here, which will be the, um, the crusher. Of course, I can move everything around a bit. So it'll, it'll run out of it's run out of bits and pieces. So it's gone back now to collect the other some more track. You'll notice some horses around here. There's not these horses are fairly harmless. They've got nothing in them. Just uh, because of these guns, they actually uh, wherever it's gone to the sentry turrets here, they only shoot the mobs. They don't shoot the horses. So I ended up with quite a lot of these skeleton horses hopping around the base in different places. So well, I'm going to wait for this. There it goes. And as soon as it gets to the top, I'm just going to tell it to stop. So now one way to tell it to stop is to put in another piece that we want some track to go around. In fact, it looks like I need to be at height 17. This will be about right. 
So I could put a piece on top of here like this. I don't think it, I, I can do that good. So what height is that? 71. So this is the height of the, the track. So if, for example, if I want the track to go now go into another direction and I haven't got any track with me, just have to pick up some track from the cart actually because it's the only place I'm going to find it at the moment. It's got 40 left. Let's just take. I could count it, of course, like that. And I think if we put some track, I really need to put down a block beside this track here. So let's put a block of wood down here like that, and then put the track on it if I'm quick enough, which is probably not going to be well, is it? I wasn't quick enough. So let's just stop this thing by removing all the track. It'll go back and get some more track. And then we can, of course, then break this piece here like this and then put it so it goes across that way. So break that and then that one. Then I can place this down here like that. Uh, obviously, it's not very appropriate having a deck of lantern as a as a bridge building material but there we are <laughs> it doesn't normally work so that should then carry on over here in fact I've actually got that slightly wrong haven't I? I want it to come in one more block over here so let's just put those pieces of wood down and some track and get it coming in in the right direction it won't actually come back again the, the truck of course because it's got no more it's got no more um, track in the thing oh it's actually coming back as it happens okay Let's put this one down here and this one down here and then it's going to go back let's catch it up and put some track in it all right so it's going to go back again so this time it'll come over here yeah i want it to go here don't i let's break this one and put this one down there fortunately i messed it up again so there we are <laughs> let's just break one of these Actually, I can break these with just my hand. I don't need to do anything else with that. So that should now lay down this one piece of track and then carry on over here. So it should come to around about here. And I'm hoping I'm above above everything that need that's critical, which it looks like I am. I'm just going to come down here and break this jack o' lantern. We don't need jack o' lantern. I know it looks a bit strange. So and we need to remove this one, don't I? It looks a bit strange with floating pieces of wood into place, but it should work. Where's he gone to? While he's while he's messing around, let's just clear up stuff up over here. So this time we should put down that extra piece of track and then go around the corner. Oh, he hasn't. He's stopped here. Why? Don't know. It's coming up to night time, so I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a few seconds. Well, the cart doesn't like going around corners. That's right, I, see. I can see. Let's just try this now put it down that way. And then it should take out of here some track, which I've given it. And hopefully it'll go in the other direction. It'll carry on that way now. I'm hoping it will do. Oh, of course it's not going to work because I've given it no wood. So let's make sure we give it some wood. So give that some wood and that should then go into here and it should start to put down some more. should start to build again. I hope. It doesn't seem to do much. Let's have a look at the thing. So it's got some wood in it but it's got no track. <laughs> I thought I gave it ten tracks. Uh, that's not working is it so let's just take those out of there now maybe I have to just get it to give, give it a little bit of a start I haven't got any more planks let's just take the planks out of it I've here put one down in there like this and then put a ah oh, it's nice there so now it's doing it should be building out now why is it not building its rails out here so it to put down this track Oh, of course, I've, it's gone back again. It's probably going to go and do, do the work the other way this time. So it's probably going to put rails at the back end of this, which is not what I wanted to do at all. 
We shall see. If it doesn't, then I'm going to just take away half of those rails. Yeah, indeed it is. It's being a nuisance. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll come back once. In fact, I probably can do this quicker manually. So maybe I'll just do this manually. If I can get past him, I can fly past him faster than he can travel anyway. But I'm hoping that it would actually pick up those rails and go this direction. Let's we'll just see what it does this time. I'm not quite sure how to force it to go in this direction. Maybe I just got to put a track down here. I'm not just not sure. Let's just put down a troop wrong one. Let's just put it down a track and see if it'll actually come round this time and do its business. It seems to have got stuck. It's probably now run out of lava. Indeed it has. Actually I should have put lava to low. I've still got a bit of power in here when I put it down again. So I'll just get another bucket of lava and come back in a second. So this time it's worked. And it's just about on top of that and it's probably going to run out of um, track at any time now, hopefully. Yeah, that's the last piece of track it's got in there, the last bridge piece. So it does actually leave it in this state. So now it's going back to get some more, which it hasn't got any more. It's going to try down the other side as it happens. In fact, what we could also do is we could actually tell it on the red side. Oh, don't want the engine. Let's right click. We could right click and left click. Let's get it going from the car into into the car manager. So that's it. We have got a bridge. Now, next episode, what I'm going to do is we're going to automate this. So I need to build another excavator, um, just like this, and I'm going to drag the power. So I'm going to take the power from this. Uh, this thing over here from immersive tech the solar generator and i'm going to basically build another one of these excavators so in order to do that i need to prepare some steel mm -hmm. so i think that's all we need to do for this time the last thing i want to show you is some ores i was digging up i dug up a whole load of we'll just travel over here and you can see i've been putting down these these little sample drills everywhere it's a, Quite interesting ones when you actually I didn't find any gold around here. Maybe I did, but if I did I couldn't remember where it is. So let's just travel in this direction. And if I can show you where they are, I actually found some unusual ores. Let's have a quick look on the journey map, make sure I'm going in the right direction. I want to go over here. So yes, I'm going in the right direction. In fact, if you looked at the journey map, you probably have seen what I, I wrote down on those oars. Here we go. An unusual collection of oars, this one was. So, beryl is uh, ber uh, emeralds, of course. Now, this is sulfurite. I thought that's basically zinc, which we have no uses for. And this one here is platinum, which you can see is also. We don't have any plastic in this pack, and the last one was lava. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, next time, as I said, what we're going to do is going to finish off the um, uh, this excavator and start to mine up some diamonds. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.